Welcome to the Nativo Shalom Shir. We're again, and, and because of Pesach coming so close, we're three weeks away, not quite three weeks away. Uh, we're going to study one of the Nativo Shalom's uh, Torahs on Pesach. And uh, this is in the, the book Nativo Shalom, volume 8, volume 2. Uh, and we're going to, to start on uh, page Reish Chof Tet, which is 229. Uh, we're going to start with one that is called Bodkin Bechurin Uvasadikin. Uvasadkin, sorry. So let's, I, I, I said in the, the email I sent out that we're going to talk about what is Badika's Chometz really about? Right? So let me preface by, with a couple things. First of all, Chometz is something that comes from a, a, a bread product, something that can leaven, a leavening product. That's what Chometz is. Chometz is not, and don't confuse it, Chometz is not dust. <laughs> Amen. Chumitz, you know, I, thank God Hashem has graced me with letting me live a few years and, and celebrate Pesach. And, and perhaps it can happen, but I have never, never, ever seen Chumitz on a window. Now, it could happen, I guess, if somebody took a piece of wet yeast or wet dough and through that a window, I guess it could stick. Maybe right, through pasta on the window to see if it was pasta, ready. Pasta, yes, it was ready. Yeah, right. I got to tell you, I've never seen it. A teething child who has a teething cookie <laughs> and is pounding it against uh, the window. Oh. It's a time to the person outside. Good, okay, good. Thank you for that because this is without, their job. without that I couldn't think of any possibility. <laughs> no, but, no, okay. Uh, all right, good, okay. So what what is what is the what does the Shulchan Aruch tell us about? The, first of all, the Shulchan Aruch and the Mishnah tells us two things. The Mishnah, and in, in Pesachim, the opening Mishnah, starts out by saying, "Or la arba aser, bodkin es hachometz or haner." On the the night of the fourteenth day of Nisan. The night of the 14th day of Nisan, <laughs> we have to search for our chametz with the light of a candle. That's the Mishnah. Of course, or I've translated as evening, on the evening of. Uh, but the word or also means light. But it could also mean in Aramaic, orta. There's a discussion in the Gemara as to whether it means uh, nighttime or daytime. But anyway, it means the light. Now, following that, that Mishnah in Pesachim, the Shulchan Aruch says as follows. It says, Bithilat leil yud da'alet b'nisan. At the beginning of the 14th day of Nisan, bot ki nesa chometz, we search for chometz, Laor Haner, with the light of a candle. Then he goes on, he says, Bechurin Uvasadkin, in, the, in the, the holes and the fissures in the wall, the cracks in the wall. Bechol Hamakomot, Shederach Lachni Sham Chometz. In all places that Chometz might be found, might have gone into. That's, that's the, the, the Halacha and the Shulchan Arach. In uh, Simon Tuf Lamed Aleph, uh, 431, that's the halacha to, to search the night in the crevices. Okay, so now we're going we're gonna, to, that's the basic halacha. <clears throat> and notice that the halacha is in all places that Chumetz can go into. That's what the Shulchan Aruch says. Now let's see what the Nativo Shalom says. He starts by quoting the the Shulchan Aruch. Well, he, he combines he combines the Shulchan Aruch and the and the Mishnah. He says, "Or Lar 
on the night of the 14th of Nisan, you have to search for the chometz with the light of a candle. So he says, Biur ha'inyan ha'miyuchad shal abdika b'chorin u'besadkin. It's necessary to explain what is meant when it says to search for chumets in the holes and the cracks. Hu'alpi mad omer b'sifrei ha'kodesh. It's as we say in the, in the as we read in the holy books, Inyan chumets v'seor, the aspect of of chumets, uh, leavening and seor, a product that makes like yeast, a product that makes something rise. More al koach hara shebo adam. This is a reference to the the power of evil in a person. Bechinas chometz. Ubechinas or in the aspect of of chumitz, bread and a yeast product that causes it to to rise. There's also underlying that as we talk about the the fact that chumitz is something that rises. That's what makes it rise. Uh, oftentimes, our ego rises to the point that that becomes that becomes chumitz. And we've talked about how we go into Shabbos. Uh, and you have to go into Shabbos with bitul hayesh, with nullifying the ego. Not thinking that, oh, look at what wonderful stuff that I've done. This is what Hashem has given me. So it's the same kind of a concept. Uh, it comes from the same, the same theory. While there he goes on, Nemra, Hamitzvah Shabbatika, Ubi or Ubitul. And based on that, Based on that connection between chametz uh, and and the evil part of a person, the bad things that a person does, based on that, we we come up with the commandment to search, to destroy, and to nullify the chametz. Because if you remember now from from last year, there are there are three things that we do. We first search for the chametz on the fourteenth. Then the next morning, ere of Pesach, we burn the chametz. And then we also say something that we say a prayer, uh, which is in Aramaic, but you should also say it in, in a language that you understand. And the prayer basically says, anything that I missed, if I missed any chametz, it should be nullified like the dust of the earth. So we have these three things. We have searching, we have burning, we have a nullification. Then he goes on. He says, "The yesh pechometz kamokain madregos." So, just as there are steps in the process of searching for chometz, searching for the chometz, burning the chometz, nullifying the chometz, so too there are steps with regard to the chometz itself. There are levels, levels of chometz. So what are the levels of chometz? He says, "Yesh chometz hanira la'ayin yodi adam." There's the kind of chometz that you can see with your eye, and it's known. It's known to a person. It's obvious. Yesh chometz sheni yodua. There's also a kind of chometz that you don't know about. Right? You can't see it. Yesh chometz balua. There's chumets that may be mixed up into something else. Be'ez chumets, no same tam. There might be chumets that gives, even though you can't see it, it's giving a flavor, it's giving a taste to something. So you can taste that the chumets is in there. Be'ez mashu chumets. Mashu. There's the, the slightest bit of chumets. The, the laws of Pesach, chumets on Pesach are among the, the strictest laws of anything having to do with kashrut. For example, dealing with kashrut, if inadvertently a piece of forbidden substance <coughs> falls into something that's permitted, there are different degrees depending on what has fallen in, the heat and so on, but basically there's a concept of bitul, of nullification, by virtue of the majority being something else. 
it depends on, on what we're talking about specifically. So, for example, there's a lot of things that are bato bashishim. If there's more than 60 parts of something permitted to a non-permitted thing, and this is talking about inadvertent, you can't, if you, if you, if you in, intentionally mix something in, uh, forget it. There's, it's not bato in a thousand. It's not nullified a thousand. But if inadvertently something falls in there, uh, depending on what it is, uh, it can be nullified if there's 60 times greater than that. With chumitz, if one crumb of chumitz falls into the biggest pot that you can imagine, that's full of all kinds of food, the whole thing is chumitz. That's, that's called chumitz mashu, the slightest, slightest bit of chumitz. And that's why we are so careful in, in getting our houses ready. We, I, I say we as Kla Yisrael, the people, wondering. the people of Israel. <laughs> I mean, there are, there, are, there are different people who have different, different roles in this. You know, some people's role is to find the chumets. Other people's roles are to remove the chumets and to clean the chumets. Other people's roles are to burn the chumets. Uh, there's a variety of, of roles that one plays. Uh, and then some just play and then somebody else does the chubbets. <laughs> There's a whole variety there. But all these, these different levels of chubbets, down to a mashu, the slightest thing that you could barely even see, you don't even recognize it there, a, a crumb. Shekal Ela Hadargot. All of these levels that we've just talked about with chubbets, Yeshnan Bekoach Hara Shiba'adam. This is present in the, uh, the, the the power of of evil in a person. He's going to explain what he means by that. Look at him on the phone. Oh, maybe more. The old Yesh Bechinas Ra Atamon There are. There's an aspect of, of evil, of bad, that is concealed. It's hidden from the eyes of a person. You can't see it. Shalul lichyot kal yamav, libli ladat A person could live all of his entire lifetime without knowing mehazadon hatamon bechovo. Without knowing of the propensity within him to do something wrong. Val Pizeh, Yesh Levar. Because of this, we, we have to. We it's important to explain Inyan Bedikas Chometz, the aspect of searching for the Chometz. Al Yisod Divrei Rav Kodesh Rav Mendel Mivatebsk Musikos Yogaleni. Uh, according to what Rav Mendel of Bitebsk said uh, about this in his book, Bufri Ha'aretz, Pri Ha'aretz. And he said, Klala de Milsa, the, the, the general thing that we can learn from this, is she call Adam Tzorich Mitztarev L'Chachma, every human being must connect with, with wisdom. Litzarev ulazakech kol hasigasov midosov v'kochosov al Hashem. He must use his wisdom to connect and to cleanse all of his thoughts, all of his actions, all of his qualities, all of his strength, so that it's channeled only to Hashem. Lo yismoch, and he shouldn't rely he shouldn't rely on the fact that he's never done a sin in his life. Free of sin. Don't rely on that. He shouldn't rely on, on the fact that he hasn't done a sin. He's saying that I'm so connected to Hashem, I can't possibly sin. This is no proof of the thing. Ki ulai, 
<coughs> he's sitting there being so happy that he's never sinned. And Tevot Shalom says, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Lo ba li Maybe he was never put to the test. He never had the opportunity to sin, never put to the test of sinning. O machmas or maybe there are other things, hamon oim also, that kept him back from sinning, kamo habusha, like embarrassment, omashi yel, whatever might have happened. But he had that propensity, and then maybe it didn't. He didn't have the opportunity. Maybe he was too embarrassed to even get to the threshold of that. But he had, the, nonetheless, the propensity was there. So we can't just say that. I'm out of danger. Me'ata. From now on, ma'bekach shelo avar avera. What what difference does it make if at this moment in his life he hasn't done any avera? Im shoresh avon atzmo eno nimchak milibo. If the if the root. The, the the wormwood at wormwood and gall, whatever those words mean, that's that's translated. The root of of evil uh, remains within him. Our kosher bow is connected to him. What good does it does it do that he hasn't sinned yet? Because he's got a propensity within him, and he hasn't cleaned out that propensity. Uh, you know, if you you have a a, a a rotting tree that's a diseased tree, if you just cut it down and leave the roots. Uh, you're going to have a problem because the, the roots are still rotting and can cause damage to something else. That's what it's talking about. And that's, he, he's, he's what he is. Adkan, until here. Mahainu shemil vad averos befoel. So we see only from the actuality of the, of the sin. Yesh es shoresh hara, a shoresh pora rosh lana. Only when you see the sin actualized, when you see that you've actually done the sin, do you realize that it comes from a place within you that still had the propensity to to do bad. It uses that expression of uh, uh, like a like a, a rotted tree. Shoresh pora rosh lana. It's referring to the roots of a uh, of a tree. Uh, that, that is diseased. Shafil im lo avar miyamav averot before even if he hadn't done anything in his life, hadn't committed any any wrong in his life, harihu nimsa adayim bekirbo, it still is found within him. Zidono bechovo tamun, this propensity is 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 concealed and hidden away. Vuhu kamos shohaya, and he's like he always was. In other words, he hasn't. He hasn't removed the root. He doesn't even know the root is there. Vazel inyan bir chomitz. This is the aspect of destroying, destroying the chomitz. She inyano, the whole aspect of destroying the chomitz is uve arto hara mikarbecha, to remove that which is bad, that which is evil, from within you, from the midst of you, mikarbecha. <coughs> Levire at Shorshe Hara Shabakirbo to remove the propensity to do evil. Right? Not just to remove the evil, not just to do chuva for that, but to remove the propensity to do evil. Shampi Dibriya Kode Shalapriar, it's as the uh Ramendra Mavitesk said, the Priorats. Yitake and Shigam Tsadik Baaretz. It's possible there could be a righteous person in the world. He never sinned in his life. When he goes up to the higher worlds, after 120 years, they, they explain that, okay, he's not going to get any kind of a punishment. But he didn't fulfill his purpose in this world. His purpose in this world was to be able to uproot the 
inner evil within himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, the purpose of each of us to, to, to fight evil we're sent down for a purpose not just to have a good time uh, but in the context of having that good time to try to root out root out the evil Shashoresh uh, Pora Rosh Vulana the the rotting root within him Shulaman Akiroso Yaron Olam he was sent to this world in order to uh, destroy that to uproot that Nishar to Kufo, but but Kufo Shlo Negavol Klau. It remains. He didn't uproot it. It still remains and hasn't been uprooted at all. Balze Nemar. And because of this, it is said, Ain be your Chomets, Elis Rafa. The only way to destroy Chomets, the only destruction of Chomets comes from burning. You have to burn the Chomets. Shaim. Almasim Raim. If on on somebody's done bad things, Masapik Omaspikli Sha Adam Yukabel Atsmo Shame Atta Lo Yasakane. Uh you would think that it's if you've done bad things, it's enough to think to decide for yourself that you're not gonna do this again in the future. Avala Kora Shorash Hara. But to uproot the evilness, the evil root for which you were sent into this world, to do that, you have the aspect of you can't destroy the chumets except by burning. What does that mean? He has to completely burn and destroy it from his, from inside of himself. Uh, and, and another way of looking at this, what, what he's saying, is when we do a particular <coughs> wrong, a particular Avera, we have, uh, depending on the Avera, we have a particular desire. We're, we're passionate sometimes about doing the wrong thing. So what he's saying is that same passion with which you did the wrong is the same passion, the same burning that you need to right the wrong, to, to write it from, to get it out of you. So the burning is passion. Burning is passion. Wow, it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's like the mm-hmm. same way that you kosher things, the same way. It's exactly oh, right. Oh, good point. Exactly okay. right. Exactly right. The same thing as, as when you kosher. You know, something was made non-kosher by heat. You have to kosher it in heat, right? Mzeo uh, Perish, and this is what it means, Or Larba Asr Bodkin Etzah Chomets. The night of the 14th, we search for the Chomets. Al Das, the Isabi Likutei Torah, as it's said in Likutei Torah, Mi'agon HaKadosh Ruchayim Vital, as Ruchayim Vital, as the Chayim Lebrucha said. He said, Sha'or la arba oser, the light of the fourteenth. Marumaz is a hint at la ace sha'adam nichnas lishnaso arba oser. It's a hint at when a person comes into the age, into the fourteenth year of his life. When a boy comes to the age of, gets into the fourteenth year, means right after his bar mitzvah. Then he's chayav on all these, responsible for all the commandments, right? Says Shaaz, who Yehudi. Then he becomes a Jew. At that point, doesn't mean when he's fourteen. It means thirteen in one day when you're you're just you're starting the fourteenth year. But Sorech Livdo gets chametz, and he has to start out by searching for the chametz within him. I knew Shibaeshu Niel Yehudi. At the time that he wants to become a Jew, Tzorich Libdok, he has to check, search in Yesh Bekirbo, if there's still within him, Adayan, Bekirbo Adayan, Eza Chelek Hara, any part of, of evil. The Chalzman, She'enu Okro Mekirbo, the entire time that he hasn't removed this 
potential for doing wrong within his midst. He can't be a complete Jew. Remember, we talked a couple of weeks ago about the, the, the three ways of, of serving Hashem. We talked about one of them being Shalom im uh, Imboro, complete with Hashem. Shalom im Chavero, complete with Shalom im Chavero, complete with your friend, and Shalom im Atzmo, to be complete with yourself. So this, this is this is one of those things you have to, in order to be complete with yourself, you have to do this internal exam, so to speak, and root out your propensities. It sounds. It's not as easy as it sounds. It doesn't even sound easy. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds very difficult. Um, I have no idea how you do it. But uh, nonetheless, you have to try. And the beauty, the beauty of Torah, well, I was going to give an example of how you can do it. It's going to give a remedy of what you can use. But the beauty of, of Torah. Baking soda. Huh? Baking soda? <laughs> baking soda is a thought. But I'm not sure that you use baking soda on Pesach, is it? Uh, no, it cleans very well. Oh, it cleans very well. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay, what is the thought? Uh, good. <laughs> I lost my brain of thought now. Sorry. No, it's okay. You're baking soda, it's okay. You're going to give an example. Okay. Yeah, I was going to give an example of... Uh, How to do this. Right, the Torah. Oh, I was going to tell you, with Torah, the beauty of Torah is that you know, you're studying a piece of Torah. You're studying the uh, the Tibet Shalom. He has many, many, many pages. You're studying a Gemara. You're studying a Mishnah. You're studying a Chumash. And, gosh, you didn't finish. You didn't finish the whole text in front of you. You haven't lost anything. Because the beauty of Torah is that you're rewarded for whatever you've done. Unlike, you know, you go to work. You don't do your job for your employer. You're not going to get paid. Torah... Whatever you do, you get rewarded for. So you have to, my, my point in saying that was, even though it's a daunting task, you know, how do you look inside of you and, and get rid of a potential that you didn't even know existed? Nonetheless, you have to try. You have to work on it. Yeah, there's something very deeply, not depressing, but so heavy to think you could be a complete sadik and still that root is not, I mean, just not really not taking something in face value, but really looking so far beyond. Right, you know, the, the, the sentence is, Ein sadik olam shlochata. There's no, no righteous person in the world who hasn't sinned. Maybe they don't even know it. You know, but, uh, uh, it's, it takes a lot of introspection to... to it's easy to see, you know, what I'm doing, I can see, okay, this is right, this is wrong. But to go beyond that, uh, what I want to do, okay, that's the next level. But then to go even deeper and say, well, what I might potentially do, I don't even know that I have that potential. So, um, well, well, isn't it, isn't it the potential of being distant from Hashem and don't we ebb and flow I mean, as regular people, that we're not, you don't always have Hashem like right here, you're supposed to, that's the ideal thing, but because we don't have Hashem like right here, He's with us, to, if we don't have that in our conscious, then like, as a real, as you, you understand what I mean by that. Like, yeah, it's I not, think that's the whole idea of tshuva on your tshuva, the yeah. more tshuva you do, the closer you get to Hashem, then the closer you get to Hashem, the more you realize you have more to go. tshuva to do. Yeah. Right. That, so that if we right. we are distanced from Him, then then that's that's, that's where the, the wormwood is. Right, right. That's where the the evil is. It's right. What, it's, so the key is to keep working to try to get closer to Hashem. Uh, I believe. I believe it's in the Pirkei Avos. It says. Uh, not to trust in yourself to the day you die. Jesus that's in Kirk of us. Right? Because don't be, don't be so confident. Something depressing about it. No, it's, 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 it's real. We live in a real world. And our, our sages were very smart people. Uh, and uh, they, they recognize a lot of personality traits in people. And uh, even though we don't, may not recognize it ourselves, they're there. So, you know, don't, don't think that you can, you can, 
overcome any temptation in the world. You know, if the temptation is great enough, who knows what will happen. The Chamamar Tzadikim, as it's, it's written, as it's written about Tzadikim, says, Kasha Yehudi Mavorech Baboker, Shlois Sanagoy, in the morning, the morning blessings. We have a number of blessings before <coughs> just the beginning of the davening. We thank Hashem for waking us up, thank Hashem for giving us the ability to discern light from dark, a bunch of things. One of those things is that Hashem has not made me a goy, not made me a non-Jew. Uh, so what does that mean? Sorech sheyivdo atzmo. One has to examine himself to make sure there's no part of him that is that is a goy. What does that mean? It means no part of him that's not following what a Jew is supposed to, to follow. That's the definition of a goy. A goy is somebody, a goy means nation. So it means somebody in another nation besides a Jewish nation. We thank God for making us what we are, not a part of another nation. And we have to check and see that we, have, we are not... Uh, we have not imbibed ourselves with the, the, the customs of another nation that is foreign to our service as a Jew. Or any limb, any part of our body that is like another nation. Similarly, when we left Egypt, we Kadesh Chag HaPesach, Alam Yisrael, when the, the festival of Pesach was, was made holy through the Jewish people. She'oz, because then, we made holy the, the Hashem's taking us to be a chosen people to Hashem. Uvo niyam Yehudim, and that's how we became Jews, by, by Hashem bringing us close choosing us. So it's necessary before this, but or la arba asr, on the night of the on the light of the fourteenth day, <coughs> excuse me, live dok at the chametz to search for the chametz. You know, the word or again is an interesting thing. We've talked about or before in connection with Shabbat. Uh, or doesn't necessarily mean uh, just the light that we can see, the, the, the light around us. Or as a special light that comes down on Shabbos. It's called the Or Ganuz, uh, the hidden light, the light that Hashem hid at the creation of the world. And with that light, that can penetrate all kinds of things. And maybe this is what it's talking about. Maybe it's saying that's the kind of light you need to look into yourself, this hidden light that, that Hashem gives you the power to use. And I, I don't know that, I, I, I honestly have just, that thought entered my mind, I haven't seen it anywhere. But maybe that's what our sages were talking about, that, mm -hmm. that we're, we're given this special opportunity from Hashem and the special, into, have this insight into ourselves, or Lar Basra. Pesach has a magical quality to use that light, that special light. Hainu as chelke hara shabo to to search for all the, the 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 any aspect, any part of of evilness uh, that is within you. Ulavaro kadei shiochol lis liot yudia to get rid of it so that you can be a Jew. Hain es hachometz hanigla. This is the revealed chometz in Yani Avera Befoel, where you can see certain things that you've done wrong. Specifically, you can see that there's been actions that I've taken, that you've taken, we all have taken, that are contrary to what Hashem's will is. Those are the revealed ones. Hain es chelke hara hatimonim v'kirbo. Also, there, there's also another aspect, and it's those parts of evil that are hidden within us, that are concealed within us. 
Gam im lo chata b'foil, even though you haven't actualized those that potential by actually doing a, a, a sin in actuality, nonetheless, that potential is there. Shoresh hara apore rosh lana, the 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 root, uh, the the rotten root, atamon bechobo bechurin besadkin. That is, that is <coughs> hidden in the uh, holes and cracks of your body. The 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 places you wouldn't even think would be concealed. That's where you should look. Shitzarich live dog acharav. You have to search after it. Ulavaro and destroy what you find. In order to come into the holiday of Pesach as a complete Jew. Sounds easier to just clean the house. <laughs> you know, we do a lot of things, a lot of things in, in Yiddishkeit where we have physical symbols to get us into the right frame of mind. Mm -hmm. For example, we have on, on, on Sukkot, we have a lulav and esrog. Lulav and esrog uh, remind us of a number of different things. There's lots of different commentaries on what a lulav and esrog is, and the the uh, uh, the willow branches and the myrtles. Uh, you know, they symbolize the, the body, different parts of the body, the spine, the heart, and so on. Uh, but it's all a way of, of of trying to bind us together with a physical act, trying to get us close to Hashem. And we shake the lula, the nanuim. Uh, we're shaking in each direction, and we're, we're it's not just shaking a, a piece of, of, of palm tree. We're shaking it, and we're at, we're we have all kinds of different kavanas, all kinds of different thoughts that we might have. But you know, you're shaking in direction, recognizing that we're surrounded by Hashem, all four directions, up and down, wherever we are, Hashem surrounds us. We're shaking in each direction, asking for the power of Hashem to come to us from each direction. So these are physical things that get us in an in a elevated mood. Uh, and the same thing with Pesach, Matzah. <coughs> matzah is uh, you know, a very high, uh, high physical object. And it's the eating of this Matzah that, that brings in thoughts of, of freedom, uh, thoughts of uh, Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim, all sorts of things. So cleaning the house uh, could be put in that same category. Because as you're cleaning the house, try to think that, wow, I'm doing this to get my house ready. And you, oh, yeah, I know you do think this. I'm doing this to get my house ready for Pesach. So it'll be completely free of any chomets. So too, this, this physical act of cleaning should help me uh, to, to raise myself to a higher level and to do this proper introspection. I think we, we can do the next the next little one here. He goes on, he says, Ubodkin Laoranair. We search with the light of a candle. That's how you do the Kishumits with a candle. Who Aldas Memra Kosuv, and this is what from the what the, the Pasuk tells us in the Torah. Ner Hashem Nishmas Adam. The light, the candle of Hashem is the soul. Of a human being, so we are a, we are Hashem's candles. Think about that for a minute. We human beings are Hashem's candles. Kodesh b'avodas Yisrael says in avodas Yisrael, Haner. It says bod kila or Haner. Search with the light Haner of the candle. So it says Rosh the the letters of it can be turned around to 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 spell the the, the beginning letters, not the whole letters. The beginning letters of the world of the word uh, nishmas uh, neshama ruach. I'm sorry, a, a soul and a spirit. Uh, oh yeah, the first right. So right, the, the nun of the haner is nishma neshama. The uh, uh, Reish is Ruach. Uh, so there you have those those letters, the Shuman Ruach. Behainu, 
Kamar more and more bebeis Avraham as he was calling as as he said, shenishmas adam tolamdenu. This from the soul of a person we learn. The kasher any odeya ma'o chela karashlo. Even though a person doesn't know what is this 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 part of 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 evil within him. Shunelam v'nister manu. It's hidden from him. It's escaped from him. He doesn't even recognize it's there. Azai imechape suvodek acher nekudat hara. If he searches after this little point of of evil, ha'ikarat shelo in in his inner self, ad makom shiada magat until until a place where where he uh, he can he can see it. So for shiim senu mikoach neshama adam tamenu. The power of the of the neshama of the soul and the the spirit will enable him to find this this propensity. Nishmas Yehudi meiralo, the the soul of the Jew will 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 give him light. Mekavanas also and and will uh, give him the intent shiada es an nekuda ikarit etzlo to be able to look inside of himself. <coughs> excuse me and see. This inner propensity, the dot of it. Rabbi uh, Sefer, I think it's Rabbi Yehuda couple. Isa de la Orha Ner, Haino Adas Mamrakasim. When it says the light of the candle, it's like the, the, the Torah tells us, Kiner mitzvah the Torah or. Excuse me. The light of a commandment in the Torah is light. Shibakoach Torah la mitzvos vodkin is chometz because of the with the power of the Torah, with the power of doing mitzvos, that gives you the light to search for the chometz. Vahainu shoeitzel ladas mahu hara tamon b'tochiyosenu chotochiyoso. The the key is to find out. Is to know what is this propensity, this bad propensity that is hidden within you. Who command Omer Bazora Kodesh? As the Holy Zohar said, Alapasik, O Hoda Elav Chatasu, or his, it's a sentence that says, his sin will become known to him. Man Kamoda, Man Kamoda Li, how does, how does it become known to him? Orisa Kamodali, the Torah tells him. The Torah tells him. As the power of the Torah reveals to him what, what it is he's doing wrong. I know Shirak Aide Shalome Torah, only through learning Torah, through studying Torah, Kor Chatorah Modialo, the the power of the Torah will 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 tell him. Sha'inenu mit naheg karoi. The power of the Torah will tell him you're not doing something right and you gotta change it. Right, without without the Torah, without studying Torah, you don't really know if you're doing something right or not. The Torah is our guidebook; it's the operating manual. Don't drive this car without reading this manual. Mizel perish lor haner, and that's what it means. Or haner is or Torah the near mitzvah, the light of the Torah, and the candle of doing the mitzvah. Shikoach haTorah mitzvos meirim Yehudi ledat. The, the power of the Torah and, and mitzvos light up a, a Jew to know where is this chometz in his midst so that he can he's got to be able to find it first before he can destroy it this is the chometz that is, is visible to the eye both types of chumas, the one that is visible to the eye and the other that you can't see at all. The power of the Torah and mitzvahs will enable you to find both of them and work on, on getting rid of them. And that's why, remember we said before, chumas is also in a mashu, even the slightest amount, the slightest crack. That's why it's it's prohibited even the slightest amount. 
כי הוא על דס ריקבון הפושע, רחמון הצאן, בגופו של אדם. It's like God forbid the, the sin uh, rotting inside of a person. שאין נפקא מינה בגדולי של הריקבון. It doesn't matter how great this rot is. מכיוון שהולך מספשט ומרקי בסקולה, because it's like anything else, you get a bug in you, it can grow and, and affect anything. So too this, this rot of the, of the sin can, can grow and affect everything. כמו כן החמץ, and similar חמץ, שהוא שורש הרע, which is the root of evil, ha-porea rosh la'ana, the fruit of this, of this poisonous tree, ain't lo shiur, it has no, no, no minimal amount, less refuel mashu, even the smallest amount is prohibited. Chama mor and ad mor b'veis avraham, as huskan leinu, ala posik, as he said, Excuse me. Vayichatu eschem b'seir ad chorma. They will smite you. They will beat you from this place, seir, to chorma. So he says, seir is miloshun sara. The name of the place, seir, is from the language of sara, yeast, something that rises. Ayetzer hora nechaz ba'odam tehila. Rock the mashu kachotasara. The the that propensity within us to do bad grabs on us, but the smallest thing, I mean the smallest thing, it's like it's like a a thread. And if we if we don't rid ourselves of that thread, it can grow. Mizeh, from this we kocho bekochaso ad chama. Uh, it, it's it, it, it is another word for destroy. It grows and grows till it can destroy you. The guilty has sair lo sare to pali to the aspect of the 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 yeast, the the rising, the uh, this little bit of of chumas that is left can destroy you completely. Mahainu, Shazar Hazeh, who nekudot hara, harikari, to this little piece of chumetz, one that you can't even see, is the point of evil. Shoresh hara, miyuchad l'cholag, that is within every person. Asher yada inche, inish benafshi, mikoach, nishmas adam, tolam denu. Person knows from the power of the uh, of his neshama that he is studying. He learns Mayan and akudam yuchedet etzlo. What is the specific thing within each person that causes a problem? When akuda zu maku misar adchama from this little point, this little mashu of chumetz, it can take over your whole body. This is what it means. There's no destroying chumats except by burning. Madomar. The Torah's Abos, as it says in the Torah's Abos, Moshe le'echad harotza lefanot yair avot me'etzav. It gives an example of a person who wants to, he has a big, very big forest that he owns, and he wants to clear it of his trees. He wants to build a building project there, or whatever. He wants to get rid of the trees. So, v'hoyu chotev eitz acher eitz, and he's chopping down one tree after another. Vera, he realizes, shi'amav yecholu, he can keep doing this all his life, lo yaspik ling, will never finish. Chopping it down one by one, it's not going to finish. Until a great fire burns. That burns all, that eats up all of the trees of the fire, of the forest. In one time. Similarly with us. 
Achresh Osim Kalo Eitzos, after we've you know, taken all kinds of advice, Vodkin Bechorin of Usadkin, and we've, we've, we've carefully searched in all crevices, in all the holes. Levi are called Minei Chomets to get rid of all kinds of Chomets. Ein Bir Chomets al Asrefa. The only way of getting rid of it is through burning. Ki Kedai Shelo Yishar Shorshe Ra Bekirbo. It's appropriate that there should not remain within him any root of evil. Ha'etzahi Lahadli Eish Kodesh. So the the Remedy for this, so there won't be any uh, evil root within him. The remedy for that is to destroy it with the holy fire, Eish Kodesh. Kamomar as the sentence says in the Torah, Eish Lefon of Tele, a fire goes before you, and it'll destroy your enemies around you. This is the only way to come into this holy holiday of Pesach, the with the higher holiness and, and purity. Adkan. Well, I wish everybody a... We'll, we'll try next week, too. I'll say. A different one. But in the meantime, uh, I wish everybody a happy Pesach. Pesach, they wish you a Pesach, Sameach V'Kashir. Now, <coughs> now, when we wish people uh, for other Chagim, we say, Chag Kashir V'Sameach. Most people say, Pesach, Chag Kashir V'Sameach, but you have a, a, a kosher and happy holiday. Uh, I switched the worlds around a little bit, Chag Sameach V'Kashir, because somehow... Sometimes, because everybody's so busy, the women especially are so busy getting their house ready that they forget that this is a chag and you have to be happy on it. So mm -hmm. the kasher is important. You have to have that. But the key, it's a chag. You have the kasher, you do that, but don't let it interfere with your joy of celebrating the holiday. Mm -hmm. Thank you all. Mm -hmm.